introduction to Verilog and the only I have taken small program. So Verilog is a hardware description language, HDL. So which is in contrast to a regular programming language like C and Python. So Verilog is following the C-like syntaxes only. So it is easy to write and uh, it is user friendly. It's a way to describe digital logic without wiring the chips gates together in a schematic, which is how it was done way back in the day. Actually, in the previously what we used to do, we are uh, uh, building the circuit using the components, using breadboard or the PCB we are constructing. But uh, without very long, if you imagine, when the larger circuits are there, when the larger, uh, the large number of gates are there, then it is very difficult to construct. But in the very long, what we are doing, whatever the hardware, the behavior of the hardware, we are representing in the uh, software level and we are giving the different test cases and the functionality of the design we are verifying. Once it is okay, we are converting into the gate level. So, which will reduce our time, effort, as well as the, if any, the bugs pass can be reduced in the software level only. So, Verilog will facilitate that. So, Verilog is a hardware descriptive language. It is used to model and simulate digital electronic circuits. Once the design is simulated and tested, ready for the table, for the fabrication, it can be synthesized. Synthes synthesize is the process which will convert the Verilog code into the gates to produce the gate level design that are then translated to the physical design. This is the overview of the Verilog. What is the need of HBL? As I explained, before we used to construct, when the fewer gates were there, so here the beginning designs involved just like few gates. The design is having the few gates and the few components. That time it is construction and verification was easy. So when we are going to the number of gates, millions of gates, then it is very difficult. So for that purpose, the very log in, you know, using the very log, we are designing the circuit and we are verifying the circuit. So when it is completed, then we are converting into the level. So one example of very log I am taking now as a multiplexer, it is a combination of the circuit. In digital electronics, we are having the two types of circuits. Uh, combinational as well as the sequential. Both circuits can be, the behavior of both circuits can be described using the hardware descriptive language like Verilog. So multiplexer is a device that selects one output from multiple inputs. So here, which is like a selector, data selector. So based on this select line, one of the input will be connected at the output. So what are the applications of multiplexer? If you see, multiplexers are used in communication systems to increase the amount of data sent over the network within certain amount of time and the bandwidth. It allows to squeeze multiple data lines into one data line. So in the telephone exchange and all, so when the multiple lines are coming, and it's one of the many input lines and combines them one by one to the output. It decides which input line to switch using the control signal. The control signals are like a select lines. For example, it is a four lines. The uh, four means two to the power of two. Two select lines will be there. When the input is zero, zero, the first input will be connected to the output. When the input is zero, one, the second input will be connected to the output. So it is like a data selector. So we can uh, write a code using assign statement. Assign is the concurrent assignment statement. So the in the very long, very long codes started with the module that should end with the end module. And this is a user defined name, max four is to one using assign statement. So it is user defined, any name can be given. And here the four inputs we are having A, B, C, D, all are four bit each. So these are the direction of this one is input. And select line that is two bit. And output is the single output, which can be a 4-bit output. Then we are using the assigned keyword. Output is assigned with select, select 1, select 0, and select 0. How it will be? It is like a conditional operator. 
using the question mark and the colon using conditional operator uh, we are deciding or describing the uh, max so when select line 1 is 0 select line 1 is 0 then select line 0 here we are going for this one when it is 0 and this select line is also 0 a will be assigned to the output the first input will be assigned to the output when the select line is 0 and this will become 1, B will be assigned to the output. Then it will check for the select line. If the select line 1 is 1, then select line 0 is 0. This becomes 1, 0. For the 1, 0 combination, C will be assigned to the output. When it is 1, 1, then D will be assigned to the output. So using this conditional operator, it is called as a ternary operator also. So using this operator, using this assigned keyword, we are assigning here. So one more we are using the out. Out be a wire always. So assign be supporting for the wire. So we cannot use register here. Right here. And one more we are the same the multiplexer we can design using the case statement. Same module that should end with the end module. A, B, C, D are the input. Select is the input. And the single line output here we are having always when the different cases will be checked here. So here, any change in the one of the input, inputs are like A, B, C, D, select. Always any change in any of the input, we are checking select line. If the select line is 0, 0, A will be assigned to the output. Select line is 0, 1, B will be assigned. Select line is 1, 0, C will be assigned. Select line is 1, 1, B will be assigned. This is end case, end of the always. So we are using begin here and end model. So these two examples I have taken for the demo. This is end of my session.